with me in the studio. You know, he's a friend of mine. I know the guy because I'm dropping names. Uh, Donna <laughs> Merrill. Now, we've talked about this before. I've always loved your music. We've chatted. We talk music back and forth. We're, you know, uh, we've kind of crossed paths musically. We cross paths here. Cut in from radio. the same cloth. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, my, my, mine was kind of a sort of frayed, mangled part of the cloth. But you got the newer piece. Um, but uh, you're nominated for a Juno. Yeah. What the yeah. heck? And I hear, and when I said this, I was all excited. I went, oh, he's, I'm going, oh, that guy's been nominated for Junos before. I mean, I don't think so. This no. is your first Juno nomination. First one, yeah. And uh, it's... Uh it's incredible. Part of the reason why I wanted to come down today was to to, to say thank you because I, you know, it's it's just an honor to be nominated. You know, I don't know how yeah, things are going to play. Yeah, you yeah. know, you're supposed to say that, and and, and, I, and and if it truly is an honor to be nominated, I feel like that honor needs to be celebrated for the mm -hmm. community that supports the artist because I'm not here on my own power. I'm here based on the power of you guys here at NCI on your listeners and on the people that come to the shows and support me. And and I think it would be uh, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, come down and say thanks to you guys and and, and the people that support me. Well, you know, the thing is, you write the great, you're writing great songs. You, you've played on some great songs. You've played with some great artists. You even were involved. One of my favorite songs on the Indian City record, mm. and I say record because it's a record for me, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's an album, but yeah. that, Stan, that song is, st I think, still by far the best track. Not that diminishing either of the songs. That's one right, of my favorite right. songs on the album. And when I saw you guys play at the West End, yeah. fantastic. I mean, I love that tune, and uh, I knew right away it was you. I didn't even look at the screen. <laughs> that's Donna Merrill. You got a very distinctive voice, my friend. Well, I like I like being able to diversify. A little bit we're talking off air just a second ago about trying new things, and mm -hmm. I think that that's that's key for an artist's uh, survival and just trying different things and, and not staying sort of comfortable in your own little box and, and working outside of that. Well, that's and that's diversify. art, right? Is letting yeah. it kind of glow, grow and flow. Um, but you've never been one to kind of let, lock yourself to a genre. You really are pretty much open to any style of music. If it's yeah. good, if it's good songwriting, you're there. And many times it's your songwriting. Yeah, I, I I pride myself in really uh, being involved in the songwriting, um, and I feel one of the things that that's important to me is being able to tell the story behind the song. And if I didn't write the song, it it's kind of uh, kind of hard to tell that story. It's like being a method actor; it's kind of hard to get into the character if it's not your song. I mean, I I, I feel the same when it comes to covers. I'm not real. Kind of, I like doing them fun, but you yeah. can't really put your heart in them because it's I, not yours. I know about six covers, and I that I learned about six years ago, and I they hardly ever change. So I, yeah. I need to, for me, I'm a, I'm a real originals guy. Yeah, and you always have been. Mm -hmm. um, for you though, it's everything from you. You can play a big place like the the Forks mm. or or a big theater concert, but then also like, I'll see you play. A house concert. House concert. What, yeah. What's the difference for you? I mean, is it always? Well, well, not I always mean, every show is important to you, but I mean. How do you juggle those two? Well, the big stages are, are, are interesting because I mean, it's it's the energy of the room, and you get you know a couple thousand people in the mm -hmm. room. It's just it's it's beautiful. It's it's kind of what you what you aim for. But on the other hand, doing a small house concert for 30, 40, 50 people, it's so intimate, and you're you're kind of sharing an evening together. That's that that, that it's conversation almost. Whereas you can't necessarily do that from the big stage, but you can do that in a in a house con a concert setting where you really kind of get a chance to sort of meet and greet people and and uh, share life. You know, and that that to me is. A major part of what I do. Now, the, if the actual Juno is for, <laughs> it's the Aboriginal album of the year. Okay, yeah. so it's not yeah. just our it's album of the year. Yes, so that is pretty cool. Yeah, I uh, I'm up with against some real serious players too. My buddy Dave Belanger at Burnt Project oh, One. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Donnie Peranto's in there. Uh, uh, Crystal Shawanda wow. and Janet Panic. So I mean, I was saying the other day that that. You know, whoever wins, it's good for Aboriginal music across right, the board. Right. I think I think it's it's such a great list of artists. I said I still hope I win though. <laughs> well, of course you do. But I mean, the thing is too, it's always nice to have that moniker. Even when you hear you go, oh, that guy was a Juno nominee. Oh, yeah. then even if you didn't win, it's always kind of like, right. oh, well, he's the real deal. Then. Well, you know, and the way I see it, I mean, don't tell the Junos this, but but I don't I, I don't think awards are the be all and all. I think there's a lot of artists that think that way, and I think it's 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 nice. It kind of gives you a pat on the back and lets you know you're doing the right thing. But if really what we're doing is is trying to to change lives through music, then it, words don't really mm -hmm. make the difference there. It's and it, it just like I said, it affirms kind of the path that you're on. Well, and the thing too is, it, it, it some people think it's a free ticket to success, and no, there's no there's no free ride to success. Um, there's no overnight success stories. Well, yeah. oh, this guy just came out of nowhere. No yeah. one just came out of nowhere. No, no. You know, and the thing is, is I mean, that's one thing I, I really I was I was I went for a walk last week. It sort of took a week to sink in that I'm actually nominated for a Juno, the, the, one of the most prestigious music awards in Canada. And I was on, going for this walk, and I thought, you know, I really need to make sure that people celebrate this with me. That it's not mm -hmm. just me patting myself on the back, going, I've been working hard <laughs> um, because I have. But I think that my you know f faithful following and my fans and and the support for that from you guys. Guys and and people that really have gotten behind me since the day I started. Um, we need to celebrate this together, and it can't just be one guy sort of thinking that he did it all. It's I'm here on the the kindness of others. So it's kind of people. Your fans are giving you a pretty cool life. 
basically. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. It just so, keeps getting better. It's one of the, that's the great thing is the great artists always remember who the boss is. And it's, <laughs> it's the fans. That's, that's, your, not me, that's yeah. your employer. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm not the boss anywhere. I'm not the boss at home. I'm not the boss. <laughs> at, uh, uh, we are here. Yeah. <laughs> we are here. Well, Donna Merrill, uh, I nominated for uh, for Juno for a Best Aboriginal Album. And uh, I, I still, I've said this before, I've said this to you for a few years now, is that I see you crossing all the bo- boundaries mm. when it comes to, to genre. And I see you breaking mm. down some walls because your music is very honest and that's the bottom line so as long as it stays honest I saw the banner fall too didn't you yeah it was kind of scary <laughs> can you still see what are people filming you got covered in a big NCI banner it's yes. I don't know it's like a blanket um, but anyway I wanted to say that your honesty uh, comes through people are touched with the music and I think the best award you can get sometimes is having someone come up to you even at an award show or at a show afterwards and go you know what that song that this is what this song means to me means this is what it got me through yeah. and that's a successful song it means more than anything else I think you know if, if I can write a song and it changes one or two lives I uh, you know mission accomplished yeah exactly if it can be a comforter to get someone through that valley. Mm-hmm. Because I remember songs, and you do too as a kid coming out, you're listening to songs, that song meant so much to you. And mm-hmm. you meet that artist, you got to hope they're a nice I, person. I still yeah. cling to those songs. Yeah. Man. Like, like 15, 20 years later, I still listen to those same songs that kind of got me through something. This is your legacy, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, award or not, we're proud of you. And we, you know we're fans <laughs> here. We love your music. Wish you nothing but great success. And we'll be talking soon about a show you got what you're working on. Yes, yeah, we're going to show, show. A pre, pre-Juno celebration and more more on that coming soon. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. That sounds like a great idea. Cool. Uh, we're going to celebrate with Don. Stay, right now, we're going to play Don and Merrill and uh, Through the Storm. This guy has is, is been through uh, storms and mountains and valleys, and, and his music's been there for you. So uh, let's uh, enjoy and celebrate with Don and Merrill. Nominated for a Juno. Congratulations, my friend. Thanks a lot.